Welcome back, my luxurious fleet. Do you have what it takes to become a Takumi? They are the expert in everything Lexus. They make the cars and they are the best in the world at what they do. I'll see you on the other side and let's get into it. So real quick, I got my new camera. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I don't have a tripod yet, so <laughs> this is what I'm doing. I have my chair and then I have my kids place cube and then I have the camera. But what do you think of the new backdrop? Um, I like the fireplace. I might start using it in all my uh, upcoming videos. It just seems a little bit more picturesque for you guys. Uh, but let's get into the Takumi. I wish I knew more about them and I probably will do a future video on the Takumi. But the Takumi are literally the masters of everything automotive. Um, there are different types of them. For example, some of them do paint only and they spend their whole lives perfecting the art of paint and how it should be applied to the car. And if there are any imperfections, they can literally feel it with their hands. Hopefully I can pull up a picture for you. Uh, there's also Takumi that go into building the engine and making the engines absolutely perfect. Mo many people know that the Toyota motors are arguably second to none in terms of durability and reliability. And the Takumi have a big role to play with that. Then arguably what the Takumi are best known for, at least to my knowledge, is that they have some of the best hand skills. So they can do things like fold origami paper cranes in their opposite hand in like two minutes. I'll put the actual time because I don't remember perfectly. The Takumi can fold a crane in their opposite hand. So I'm, I'm left-handed, so I'm using my right hand. And then on the other hand, they can stitch the Lexus vehicle and they have to be able to do that to even put their hands on a Lexus vehicle. So all the stitching and are in the Lexus vehicles are done by the Takumi. They are the masters at that. Their jobs though are potentially in danger and that's what this 60,000 hour documentary is all about. The Takumi, you can say they're kind of on their last leg because machines in the future, they're saying the AI and all the machines, the technology is gonna replace them in the future. I don't think so because there's something about handmade things that people have an attraction to. People will pay more for handmade things. It just adds value to the product to let, to, to let the buyer know that someone put in their time, their effort, their heart and soul into making this product. It is worth more, there's no doubt about it. If AI and robots take over the world, our products are gonna become very segmented away from the humans. So. Even though hum uh, humans might not be able to do the job as perfectly well, that's not what it's about. There has to be some sort of human interaction with the product for us to really, really see the value in it and for us to connect to the product. And I think how the vehicles are made now, it's a good blend of robotics and physics and laser technology and all that crazy stuff that goes into the, how the robots assemble the vehicles. When you look at Lexus, you have the Takumi who have spent 30 plus years mastering their craft. That combination, I think, is a big seller for the brand. Let's get into the article about the 60,000 our documentary. Let's just get into it. I want to read it to you guys and then I'll probably cover it in the future uh, because it's coming out later this month, the full 60,000 hour documentary. Am I going to watch it? No, of course, but there's going to be about an hour abridged version that I will watch and I will probably give you my impressions on it as well. So let's hop on over to the computer. Could you become a Takumi? In Japan, it takes 60,000 hours to reach the highest level of craftsmanship this new documentary reveals. Lexus to distribute a new documentary on Amazon Prime Video that poses the question of whether the most devoted craftsmen and women will survive in an increasingly AI powered world. In the West, it's often considered that it takes 10,000 hours of study for the average person to become an expert in their subject. But in Japan, you're not considered a master of your craft until you've spent 60,000 hours refining your skills. That's equivalent of working eight hours a day, 250 days a year for 30 years. A fascinating documentary unveils the world of the Takumi, the highest level of artisan in Japan. The visually stunning character-driven portrait made by Chef's Table director Clay Jeter for luxury automotive brand Lexus is due to release on Prime Video through the Prime Video Direct self 
publishing service on March 19th, 2019. You better believe that I'm gonna be covering that, by the way. Super excited. Takumi, a 60,000 hour story of the survival of human craft follows four Japanese artisans who are dedicating their lives to their crafts, including a double Michelin star chef, a traditional paper cutting artist, and an automotive master craftsman, and a carpenter for one of the world's oldest construction companies. The documentary which premiered at the Doc NYC Film Festival in New York is unique in the medium is also the message. There will be a feature length version plus a 60,000 hour cut which loops scenes of each Takumi's essential skills of their craft repeated over and over again to highlight the hours, days, and years of practice involved. Narrated by former British Museum director Neil McGregor and including interviews from world experts in craft and AI, the film asks how we will honor and preserve human craft as we simultaneously design machines to act more precisely and quickly than humans ever can. In the time period we live in, which is so attention deficit, we all feel like we don't have enough time, said Nora Atkinson, curator of craft at the Smithsonian American Art Museum. So the thousands of hours it really takes to become a skilled craftsman is becoming something that is smaller that a smaller sphere of artists will experience. By 2025, it's estimated that machines will be capable of surpassing human performance in virtually every field. We're in the midst of exponential progress, said Martin Ford, author of Rise of the Robots, Technology and Threat of a Jobless Future. He adds that this rate of transformation hasn't been seen before. In the next 10 years, we're going to see 10,000 years of progress. 10,000 years of progress in 10 years. That doesn't make sense. There'd just be 10 years of pro progress, right? That doesn't make any sense. Will human craft disappear as artificial intelligence reaches beyond our limits? Or will this cornerstone of our culture survive and become more valuable than ever? This documentary looks at how to take the long road to excellence in a world that's constantly striving for shortcuts. The essence of Takumi is to gain a sublime understanding of the nuances of a particular art, said Nohoko Kojima, the paper cut artist who appears in the documentary. To be focused and spend countless hours on one thing and to carry on requires one to empty the mind and focus in a way that is simply not possible when still acquiring a skill. The concept of Takumi has physically and philosophically been at the core of Lexus brand since it started 30 years ago, said Spiros Fotinos, head of the global brand of Lexus International. Our Takumi masters have over 60,000 hours, 30 plus working years, of experience developing their craft. To celebrate the brand's anniversary year, we wanted to capture the essence of Takumi and their 60,000 hour journey on film. Viewers can enjoy the 54 minute version or see the full 60,000 hour version on takumicraft.com, allowing them to soak up the level of dedication and commitment it takes to achieve a special kind of mastery. Documentary is created by the AND Partnership London and will be available on Amazon Prime, Amazon Instant, Google Play, and iTunes. So what do you guys think? Um, the Takumi are absolutely some of the best in the world at what they do. It's hard to argue that there's anyone better. They are absolute master craftsmen, artisans, whatever you wanna call them in their respective field. I think it would be awesome, like I have a dream one day to go to Japan and see them working on Lexus or Toyota products. Well, the Toyota, the best of the Toyota craftsmen and artists, they go to Lexus the Takumi, for, in terms of my knowledge, they're all at Lexus, even though they start at Toyota and they start their 30 years of experience there and then they eventually switch over. So only the best of the best of the best make it over to Lexus. But yeah, I would love one day to make it over to Japan uh, and see the Takumi actually work in progress because it's a, it's, a, it's a dying breed, it's a dying art. You know, back in the day, you would have like, goldsmiths, you have shoe tailors, clothes weavers, metalsmiths where they, you know, manipulate metal their entire lives to perfect either a certain armor, a certain sword, and you see kind of that in the Takumi, absolutely. They devote their whole lives to this sort of practice, and we don't see that in our, our, our culture of ADD, uh, where there's always new things to do, um, especially in America. We like to learn new things all the freaking time. That's a part of our human nature. But at the same time, 
Another thing that's a part of our human nature is mastering. People don't remember the jack of all trades. Well, hold on, hold on. Well, Leonardo da Vinci was what he revolutionized the term Renaissance man because he could do so many things so well, but he's one of the very few that could do it. The rest of the greats we remember, I mean, they're remembered for a specific thing, Michael Jordan. He's remembered for his mastery of the game of basketball, and you can say that for anyone in sports. I mean, you say that about artists. Artists are known for being masters of creating something that is unique and provokes thoughts, and they do it in a very, very unique style. So all the greats are masters of something. Uh, unless you're a renaissance man. And I think that's kind of where our world wants to be is we want to be masters of everything. But in, in turn, we, we do sacrifice a lot. I don't know, this has become quite a long video. It's, I've been ranting quite a bit. But what do you guys think of the Takumi? I can't wait to cover the, the bridge documentary. Not the 60,000 hour one, uh, but the 54 minute one. And I'll be able to cover that with you guys um, and give you my thoughts on it. What do you guys think of the new camera? What do you think of the Takumi? I'll see you in the comments below. Until next time, peace.